Okay, this is my favorite kind of story in the world. Gavin McGinnis is the founder of Proud Boys. They are described by some news outlets, including NBC News, as neo-fascist. Uh, that's because they uh, consider themselves a gang, basically. They, uh, part of their initiation right is to beat each other down. They've been involved in several violent altercations and, and have been arrested in places like New York. Uh, and, uh, and they call themselves uh, Western chauvinists, okay? Uh, now, all that is true. Now, Gavin McGinnis, though, lives in a very nice area of New York. I do declare it's a very pleasant suburb. And, uh, and his neighbors don't like being next to a guy who leads a hate group. So uh, Gavin McGinnis is bothered by this. One of them even complained at the club, at the country club, and tried to get Gavin kicked out. I do declare, Gavin, please. What would you do if you were kicked out of the club? So this guy who's such a tough guy when he's talking smack online and in the media, he's been crying about this sign, a sign that his neighbors put up, a lawn sign. They just voluntarily decided to put up a sign that says, hate has no home here. And he hasn't stopped crying since. In fact, he left his own group, Proud Boys. For a number of reasons, uh, because he's a coward and he never meant any of it, he was going to always let you guys go to jail. He was going to collect the paychecks and the money and the fame. And then he was going to dump all the problems on the, uh, the members. He's the exact opposite of what we do on the Young Turks. We try to empower you guys. We try to give you guys stuff. Meanwhile, this guy's like, oh, hey, man, I got everything. And, he, and run for the door. And then he says, listen, listen to this. He wrote a letter to his neighbors. And then this is, hey, if you're a proud boy guy, this isn't my problem. This is your problem, brother. I'm enjoying this. I got popcorn. He says, first of all, uh, he says, as an immigrant and the head of a multiracial family. Oh, now all of a sudden you're an immigrant. <laughs> all of a sudden, Gavin McGinnis, who has said all sorts of terrible things about immigrants. All of a sudden, as an immigrant, I beseech you, please let me back in the club. Okay, he says that you may have heard that I'm the leader of a hate group called Proud Boys. Everything about that rumor is false. Okay, two things about this. All right, first of all, there's nothing false about that at all. That's the truest thing that's ever been said. He is the founder and the leader of Proud Boys. Now, recently, he ran. And then he came back, and I'll explain that in a second, too. And then, by the way, his last piece of hypocrisy at the end is awesome. It's awesome. So, uh, he... Uh, was getting a lot of heat and maybe it might have gotten in legal trouble and most importantly was losing his precious media contracts Ooh, that hurts because that hurts the wallet So he said, oh, I'm not the Proud Boys never heard of him. I'm not the, I'm not the leader of the Proud Boys I, I, I just have a disavow. Okay Again, that's not my problem if you're in the Proud Boys and you thought he was your leader and he just threw you under a bus and said, oh, I t it's totally false that I'm the leader of the Proud Boys. No way, Proud Boys, I, who, what name so? Okay, that's called selling you out, brothers and sisters. That's what it's called. Although if you're part of the Proud Boys, you're not my brothers or sisters. So uh, then later he tried to sneak back in. And well, I mean, I mean, I meant I left the Proud Boys, but I already lost the media contract. So I, I but I don't want to lose the Proud Boys because then I don't know how I would make money. So I, I like I just meant that the Proud Boys have no leader at all. <laughs> Is that clever? No, not remotely clever. So he writes this long letter crying to his neighbors. About, oh, no, please. I am not in favor of hate. He said, um, what else did he say? He said, if you are a liberal, oh, I love this line. He said, if you are a liberal, then you are by definition tolerant. If you truly eschew hate, you know that loving your neighbor, your actual neighbor, is where tolerance begins. Oh, now all of a sudden you want to be liberal. All of a sudden you want tolerance for your neighbors. The guy who said he was a Western chauvinist, the guy who named the group Proud Boys, all of a sudden not so proud. All of a sudden begging liberals to be nice to him and crying and needing a safe space, literally needing a safe space. He got triggered by lawn signs. This was your leader, Proud Boys? And you called it Proud Boys. He says he now eschews hate. So eschew. Eschews hate. <laughs> proud boys. Okay. Not so proud of you guys. He, to his rich, rich elite neighbors, he's going around saying he can't stand you guys. 
he's such a two-faced liar because now here comes a twist at the end, okay? Oh, by the way, one more line that I love. Hate certainly has no place here. And like you, I am committed to keeping it that way. <laughs> listen to his podcast. Listen to anything he's ever done. It's about hate and violence and you should go punch them in the face and you should uh, choke them. And we've shown you the clips over and over again on the Young Turks. Uh, and so now all of a sudden he's like, oh, I eschew hate. It has no place here. Please spare me your crocodile tears. And don't get me wrong, guys. Uh, so, hey, should a liberal be mocking someone like this? First of all, goddamn right, okay? I'm tired of the liberals who are constantly saying, oh, Gavin McGinnis has been a naughty boy. He should stop that. We are offended. It's not about being offended, man. It's about fighting back. So yes, we're aggressive progressives, and we do it verbally, we do it politically. We're not like the idiots on the right wing, idiots like in the Proud Boys that do it physically, that do it with violence. You know what we do? We actually eschew violence. So if he was a decent guy, I'd defend him, and I would say, hey, don't guys, don't make fun of a guy. He's, he feels besieged in his own home. And by the way, I didn't tell you where he lives because you shouldn't get into that kind of stuff. I don't want to go in uh, anybody's home, okay? So we're the good guys. We don't do any of that stuff. But he's not a good guy. So for him to give hatred out into the world and to uh, promote violence in the world and to do all the things that he's done and then to turn it around and cry because the elites won't have him in the club, well, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what the Young Turks is here for, to make fun of stuff like that. By the way, if you agree, join us, tyt.com slash join, okay? Um, okay, now, um, one last one, like I told you, the last uh, piece of hypocrisy. So he goes and cries to his neighbors, he says, no, I'm a good guy. <laughs> if you're a liberal like me, he didn't say like me, but I just read you the quote, trying to get the, the liberals to approve of him. I love it. I love it. He called it Proud Boys. Have I told you that before? All right, last thing. He then goes on his podcast afterwards on Friday and says, if you have that sign on your lawn, you're an effing retard. And he said the actual word. What happened? I thought you were beseeching. I thought you were eschewing. Now, all of a sudden, yeah, these he's retards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a tough guy. Hey, Proud Boys, I'm a tough guy. I'm with you guys. Then he runs back home to his little elitist club and goes, Proud Boys, well, I eschew them. I eschew them. Please let me back in the club like you liberals. Are you still crying, Gavin? Are you still crying? Ah, oh, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Gavin McGinnis, 2019. Pathetic.